Hey, how you doing? It's Greg from Whippets.com. I got a really cool uh, new opening going on here. We've got a basic graphic background, and I'm going to show you how to put some images of you and your buddies or your family, whoever you want in here, and make it really cool. So let me just give you an idea of what I've done so far. So I'm going to play this for you. Pretty cool, eh? All right. Basically, you need Photoshop. Let me just readjust the mic here. You need Photoshop and Adobe Premiere. There's Premiere. There's the actual thing, the um, my timeline. But I'm going to start in Photoshop. Take a picture of uh, anybody you've got, yourself, your friends. Bring your photo in here. Uh, to save time, I'm not going to show you how to import and open stuff up. I mean, you should basically all know that. So we're going to do a real quick, if you have a newer version of Adobe Photoshop, you will use the quick selection tool which really saves a lot of time just drag it on top of whatever image you want it's really good it's not perfect but it's still one of the best selection tools I've ever dealt with alright let's just pick the man here and there we go uh, if you notice on the bottom right you'll see the little lock on your background double click your background in your layers and then just hit OK. It gets rid of the lock. So now when you hit delete, oops, that happens. You want to go up to, oh, I'll do this a little slower. You want to go up to select, inverse, hit delete again, and it'll get rid of all of your background. Now you've got a clean image. Again, it's not perfect. I mean, I would be perfect if I was doing it for myself. I think we lost a finger there, but we're not going to worry about it. It's basically, I'm going to show you what you should do and let's just clean it up just a little bit wrong erase tool you know all right pick a hard erase uh, an erase tool with hard edges you know just clean it up a little bit fix a few things here and there and what you want to do is you want to do a lot of your manipulation in here because it'll save processing or rendering time in Premiere so if I remember correctly I went to the filter menu first filter gallery and I think I used a dry brush yeah I like the dry brush could do anything you want with it make it a little warpy but we'll just stick right there hit OK I'll move the cursor slower again come down to your bottom right hit add layer mask oh I'm sorry don't hit add layer mask actually go to the option next to it and go to uh, U and saturation. Let's bring the U down, the saturation down here, and then come and make another one. And we're looking for the photo filter, photo filter, photo filter. Why can I not? There it is. I knew I was looking in the right place. Put a little photo filter on there, bring the density up, and there you have it. You can do a few other things if you want. You can go to Filter Gallery and, and add some. Where is he? Where's the man? Oh, I always do that. Pick the wrong layer. Go to your main layer. Filter. Filter Gallery if you wanted to add some stuff to it. You know, uh, what was I looking at? Uh, rough Pastels. Hit OK. Oh, I like that even better. All right. Basically, after you do that, you want to go up to your file save as and you want to save it as a PNG and this PNG file will create the edges will make the edges around your image a little sharper than it would if you saved it as a JPEG it gets a little artifacty little uh, mosaic pixeling whatever you want to call it so basically this was my original timeline where I built the graphic that you had just seen so we're going to use the images in here we're going to start a new sequence. New sequence. I did 1920 
by 1080. We'll call that uh, War Dogs Tutorial, if I could only spell. Hit OK, now you've got a clean timeline. Take your graphic, whatever graphic you have. This one, of course, came from Whippets.com. Go figure. And drop it into your timeline. There you go. I'm going to expand. Uh, why isn't... Oh, my little wheel isn't working anymore. Great. All right. And if you have all of your images cut out... I'm sorry I didn't show you all the images being cut out. I just figured we'd save some time. We'll, we'll start with the image just so you get an idea because once you see the image with the text you can do the same thing for the opening and everything so we'll go right over here this is where I brought my first image in we'll bring the big bad Brad in here and first off you see it's way too big so we'll click it come up into our effects control scroll down or twirl down and change your scale. Bring them down to fit. You might want to leave a little overlap here. You see the, I wonder if you can actually see it, the bottom here. You want to just have a little overlap because we're going to do a little movement. You don't want to see him coming up and down. All right. And let's go to a video effect and go to transform and if you need to flip the image around which I'd like to do is horizontal flip drag it up into your effects control and there he is flipped bring him over a little bit here and there you have it now we want to have him zoom in to kind of match the background graphic you see how it zooms in like that so we'll bring it over and we'll zoom him in while it's zooming we'll take the image drag it over a little to our timeline here and we'll make a keyframe for the position so go up again into your effects control click the keyframe little stopwatch here We'll drag that keyframe over a few frames now so now wherever once you have one keyframe set wherever whatever you change your position horizontal or vertical it will automatically make a new keyframe so I'm going to drag this over I'm going to minus it so that it pops over here, drags off the screen, hit the space bar for play, and he comes in. I want to make it a little faster, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, using the little mountain on the bottom, the zoom in button. Drag this over just a tad, and take a look at it now. Alright, pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to make him move around a little bit because if you watch it he's just static not very exciting so we'll go over a few few frames and we'll just drag this to the right a little go over a few more frames drag this one up or down whatever way you want Let's zoom it out a little bit more come over a bit more zoom it up there we go same thing, just do it a few times. Now if you play it, and we'll move these over a little bit so that it lasts a bit longer, and then I'll show you how to fix that one little strange thing that you see. See how it keeps moving? Alright. Let me zoom over here, zoom this out a little bit more, find my end here, drop a few more keyframes in here. hit the play button now if you notice in the very beginning the Brendan uh, slides over real hard and then comes back which is a strange I don't know why it does that don't ask me but I found the solution to that real simple